Okay, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use Microsoft Word 2007 to make a professional looking formula sheet. So first of all, um, this is just a sample formula sheet I've made. I'm going to be using it to pick some formulas off to type in here. So just click on the Microsoft Word screen here. A shortcut for entering an equation is press the ALT ALT and then plus ALT plus it will bring up the equation editor. A blue box will come up. If you want this to not be centered, you can change it to left, or you can just leave it centered, however you like. And then just start typing what you want to enter. So something really simple like y equals x squared, so y equals x caret 2, and then press the space bar, and it will go into the exponent. And just arrow to the right to move off of the equation. And it's as easy as that. Some other things, just do Alt plus again. So how about, um, let me bring this full size for a second. Like the a definite integral from A, and you can just arrow to get to the next box. A to B of F of X DX equals a number or something like this. Um, that would be an example. Um, as far as what I have over here, say if I wanted to enter this equation, the Jacobian. So you alt plus J of U V U comma V equals and so I want this these brackets here for the determinant. So I can go to brackets, open this, and I need four spaces. So I pick this one. And this first one will be a fraction. So I'm going to move this back down so I can see the equation. So it's a partial derivative of x with respect to u. So I find this in the menu here. Partial with x. Partial u. I have another fraction. And here it will be partial x, partial v. I'm arrowing with my right arrow key to get to the next square. Another fraction. Partial y. Partial u. Arrow with the right key. Fraction. And partial y. Partial v. And then right arrow key equals. And it's just copying over these same things over here. You can actually copy just copy with the highlight with the left click, then right click to copy, click copy, come over here, and go paste. And you can do this. It's a it's kind of a shortcut. It makes it a little bit quicker than doing it than having to retype this. I have a little shortcut. And I put it in the wrong spot there. Like so. Minus partial y with respect to u. Copy. And then partial x with respect to v. Copy. Paste. Like so. And there's other menus that I haven't gone over in this video yet. So I go Alt Plus. I'm just going to show you some of the menus without actually using them all. There's the basic math. It has your delta, your gradient, all kinds of helpful symbols like pi and arrows and approximation symbols, infinity, plus, minus. And then you have Greek letters. You have lowercase, uppercase. These are used all the time. Letter-like symbols, 
operators, triple integrals, so forth. Lots of different arrows. Uh, re relations, scripts. I actually haven't used these before. And geometry, like perpendicular, parallel, the air force and so forth. And uh, there's also, you can make a shortcut up here so that you don't have to go into the equation menu to get these options to come up. Just right click over here and say customize the quick access toolbar. Makes it a little bit quicker. And then to finalize this to make it look more like what I have here, what you can do is control all and then go to page layout and columns and then you can insert columns to make if I had more information here it would go into two columns like I have over here. And then after that, to finish it off like this, it normal I have a hard time printing it in the dot document form. So what I always do is save it as a PDF. So let's go save as PDF. Wherever you want to save it. Publish. And then you have your document. And it's as easy as that. Hope this video helps. Thanks for watching.